फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस एट रानाघाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया पोस्टीरियर कैप्सुलर रेंट कैन अकर एट एनी स्टेज ऑफ सर्जरी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हाइड्रोडिसेक्शन टू आईवेल इम्प्लांटेशन एट एनी स्टेज ऑफ सर्जरी पोस्टीरियर कैप्सुलर रेंट में अकर In this case, the cortical cleanup has been done very nicely. Posterior capsule is intact at this moment, and now a trainee is implanting the intraocular lens. At this moment, I was just talking to the nurse, and I didn't look at the surgery. and see what he did he placed the iol here injected some visco now he took the sinski hook and see how he is trying to push the lens in the back just here as he pushes the posterior capsule gives way and a part of the lens is in the anterior vitreous and the trainee doesn't have any idea that the eye will may drop so at this time i was i saw that the lens is displaced and part of the lens is in the anterior vitreous posterior capsule has been torn so i asked him to let me take over and manage the case henceforth and here what i am doing is i am using two instruments and retrieving the lens from anterior vitreous and placing it over the iris now i shifted the patient to next ot where vitectomy setup was ready injected visco and took a sinski hook and placed the eye well in the sulcus going through the right side port i am placing this haptic in the sulcus yes it has gone in the sulcus now i dial the lens and place the other haptic also in the sulcus and now both the haptics are in the sulcus now i take vitectomy cutter this is a 23g cutter and this is farrows and i did anterior vitectomy lot of visco is there which has mixed with the anterior vitreous unless i remove that the media will remain very hazy for a long time so i did nice anterior vitrectomy and in that process all the visco that was there got removed the colleagues we must do adequate anterior vitrectomy giving quality time to the patient we must not hurry up to do antivitectomy and complete the case somehow and now i am going through the right side port and doing some more anterior vitectomy the lens is nicely placed in the sulcus it's very stable 
hydrophilic single piece lenses are well tolerated in the sulcus in our experience though reports may vary but hydrophobic single piece lenses we usually don't implant yes nice vitrectomy has been done now air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and now my plan is to constrict the people injecting pilocarpine on percent in the anterior chamber here it is this is pilocarpine on percent wait for some seconds and as the people constricts though i am quite sure there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber this is on more taste to hook if anything is there and now this is tramsnolon acetate just to confirm that there is nothing in the anterior chamber no vitreous strands are there in the anterior chamber and as expected there was no vitreous in the anterior chamber and now this is the final cut because some amount of TA transnoron acetate molecules goes into anterior vitreous and I usually remove as much TA as possible transnoron acetate molecules because there are patients who can develop raised intraocular pressure because of transnoron acetate and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done all the side ports are nicely closed by stromal hydration the anterior chamber is nicely formed and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention we must remember that posterior capsular rent can occur at any stage of surgery even during IOL implantation so we must take adequate care in all stages of surgery